Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Stephanie. I welcome you to my channel. So today, you guys, I finally got my September boxy charm. It is 18 or 19 days into the month. 18 days. Uh, it actually showed up Friday, I admit. I didn't uh, open it because I had my blue color challenge co uh, collaboration video that had to go out on Saturday. And today is Saturday when I'm filming this. So I'm a day late, but it did just come. And you guys, it has a big old hole right here in the box, which is a little scary. But let's see what's in here. Uh, first of all, I don't know. All right. This is how it looks. You guys, there's no packing material in here. There's like, so when I started with BoxyCharm, they used to put these really nice like foam things in here. They make really nice makeup color switchers. And then they started putting in um, like paper and and now there's nothing. There's, you guys, literally there's like no, there's no packing materials in here. Everything's just flying around in here. That's interesting. All right. Boxy charm, BTS. I'm guessing maybe back to school. Let's see what it says. So this one has, of course, the card um, does tell me what is in my box and the MSRP. So the variation, you guys, wow, it's variation number two. So the letter is C21 for the year 2021, and then 09 because it's September, and then 002.BA for base. So it is literally the number two variation. Let's see if you guys can see that right there. So that's interesting. Okay, well, let's get into it. First thing in here, this looks like brushes. Uh, Ilana Badreau, or Elena, Baby Blues Set, MSRP, what? $58. It says, this set masterfully creates a seamless, flawless makeup application. Contour, blend, and define with these three, three limited edition, decadent, synthetic makeup brushes. Travel or store your brushes in style with a luxurious tan pouch. $58. $58 for three synthetic makeup brushes. Give me a break. I got to see what these look like. And I mean, the makeup pouch, the brush pouch. Give me a break. All right. Already, I'm not impressed. So feels like fake um, suede or fake leather. That's what it looks like. Just a brown, tanny, you know, color. All right, here's the $58 worth of makeup brushes. Oh my God, you guys, these are like, you have a eyeliner slash brow brush, angled brow brush. You have a blending brush and you have a contoured blush brush. Wow, okay. Um, I don't think they're worth $58. They're synthetic. So that means they're cheap. They're not real. So, um, you know, I'm not impressed. I don't think they're worth $58 for three brushes. You guys, I can go to the Hank and Henry Makeup Institute website and get his monthly subscription for $25 and get more than three synthetic brushes for $25, not $58. Now I realize this is in my box, but, um, wow. I... Okay, next item, Georgette Klinger Marula Primer, and it's got a little goob on it, probably from banging around inside the box with no packing material. Let's see what they have to say about this. Um, blur imperfections and ensure an all-day radiant finish. Hydrating and long-wearing, it cushions skin with advanced hyaluronic acid ensuring silky smooth makeup application that won't settle into pores, fine lines, or dry areas. A nourishing blend of marula oil and vitamins A, E, F, and B locks in moisture and protects against visible signs of aging. Ideal for an oil and silicone-based foundation formulas. All oil and silicone-based formulations. Okay, interesting. $32, and this is 1.7 ounces or 50 milliliters. Um, does have a little safety seal, just a little white cardboard, which is really nice. So... I don't think I would spend $32 on a face primer that you're probably going to use this up within a month, but I will try it. Uh, I don't really use a lot of face. I think I'll try it. I don't use a lot of face like foundations. I generally use tinted SPF moisturizer. So, all right, we've got, it looks like a lipstick from Real Her. It says never give up moisturizing lipstick. MSRP on this is $18. Hard to read the shade on it. Again, it says never give up. I don't know. It's almost impossible to read. I think it says Christmas. All right, um, $18. It says over time, 
encapsulated water is released from the lipstick, providing hydration to your lips. Not only is each shade infused with jojoba seed oil, shea butter, and vitamin E, but each lipstick also provides all-day hydration with a creamy, smooth application. Hmm. $18 lipstick. All right, let's do as I drop it. Y'all wouldn't be a video if I wasn't throwing things. It's twice now. Okay, very pretty packaging. Let's see if I can get it open. Very hard to get out. Ooh, dark. Really dark. Wow. Not sure that's really my shade. I tend not to wear very, very dark, dark, dark shades anymore. Um, let's see. It's not like magnetic or clickable. It's just tight. So interesting. I don't know, you guys. I may give this to somebody uh, or put it aside for a giveaway. I, that is a very dark color. And again, they have tiny text on black, and it does, what does it say? Does it say Christmas? Oh my God, it's so tiny. Never give up. And it's so light, and it's just so dark. I think it's the shade Christmas. I don't know, you guys. It's like so tiny, and it's dark red on black. It's whatever. The so next one is a brow gel from St. Lux. MSRP $22 says bow down to your brows. This brow gel glides on effortlessly, leaving your brows looking fuller and giving them the perfect shape. The short brow brush will give you precise placement of your brows and the lightweight gel has no residue when dry. $22. Let's see what this looks like. It looks like a mascara. So just a tube. Hmm. Well, let's see what this looks like. Brow sh should have little tiny spool. Oh, I already hate it. It's a short but really fat, thick spoolie. I'm not really a big fan of that, but I might try it. I have a brow gel that I've been using that I really like, uh, but it's probably almost gone, so I might try this. Why not, right? I mean, I don't like the size of the spoolie. I don't think it needs to be that fat, but... And then I think this is the item I chose, a big old Glam Glow. So this says this is the uh, Glam Glow Youth Mud Glow Stimulating and Exfoliating Treatment Mask. It says it exfoliates with volcanic pumice rock to help smooth the appearance of fine lines and visibly soften skin's texture while natural clays impur lift impurities without disturbing the skin's uh, essential oils. Antioxidants from green tea, smooth for more glowing, youthful looking skin instantly. MSRP $60. So I don't mind some of the um, mud type stuff from glam glow i will use it once or twice a week i recently got a cleanser i think it might have been even last month or the month before and it's very nice i use it like twice a week i don't overuse it but it's something that's in my shower and i really enjoy it so i you know glam glow usually has got really nice items so this is nice you guys it's it's wrapped up in a um plastic wrapping which is really cool so i will definitely i did pick this i wanted to try it so i got my happiness right here <laughs> Uh, other than that, you guys, the items in my box are kind of head scratchers. The brow stuff, I'll try it. I mean, I don't like the spoolie, but it's not going to be the end of my world, right? So I will try that. This shade, Alippi, you guys, once again, with um, I have, like, I'm in a mask mandate during the work week in the county that I my office is in. So we wear masks all the time again. So I'm not really wearing lippies. Like, I have one on now because I could actually wear one in my house. But this color, I, I don't... I don't use it. I, w I will consider using this facial primer. I don't know, you guys. I don't use... I don't know if this is going to work with my tinted moisturizers. Um, all I can do is try, I guess. Um, you know, I guess if I wore a ton of foundation, I would probably be happy with this. But would I ever buy, a, like, a facial primer for 30 some dollars that's this size? Probably not. That's pretty expensive. Um, so nice to get it. And these, I think these are, like, the biggest joke in the box. I'm sorry. Synthetic brushes for almost $60 and they're three and I mean you can't even do a face like a full face look with these because it's like a brow pencil a blender and a contour slash brush brush blush brush <laughs> I can't talk but like it's not even like they would have been better off to give you like three brushes to like do your eyes or something not like your brows um, one random blending brush and then a contour brush so I don't know about that. And I would never spend that kind of money on three synthetic brushes, as pretty as they are. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Again, um, it's variation number two, zero, zero, two. So, um, yeah, let me know down below what you guys think. I will have all the details on the items I got in the description on this video with the suggested MSRP information that Boxy provided. Um, 
Yeah. So I have mentioned it in a community post on my channel, but I don't think I've actually mentioned it in a video. So I went ahead and I canceled my Ipsy subscription. So at the beginning of the year, I was getting three different Ipsys. I was getting the base bag, which is the little, the little bag. And then I was getting two different profiles and Ipsy plus. So earlier this spring, I canceled the little base bag and then I canceled one of the Ipsy pluses. And I have been getting since then just the one Ipsy plus bag. I went ahead and canceled that. So I'm no longer getting Ipsy, you guys. I just not happy with all the skincare. And you guys, I just think back to that month where I got three different tubes of moisturizer in one, one month in a bag. I just think that's, it's just skincare over like overload. When I joined Ipsy many years ago, many, many years ago with the initial little glam bag, it was, um, it was mostly makeup products. And now I feel like I'm just getting inundated by skincare, no matter what I do with my profiles. Um, yeah, I do get some makeup, but I'm still getting skincare and skincare and then more skincare. So I'm overloaded on skincare. I need to kind of use up what I've got. So I'm not saying it will never go back. I'm just saying right now, Ipsy's done. I decided to keep BoxyCharm because I do like shopping and, you know, occasionally buying stuff in their add-ons. Um, you know, we'll see. But I was thinking going into the gifting season, I wanted access to Boxy's um, add-on pop-up sales. So we'll see. I have considered canceling BoxyCharm as well. And, and I know I've watched a lot of videos from other creators, you guys. I'm not the only one thinking that Ipsy and Boxy kind of stink right now. Um, it's just skincare overload. And I mentioned it before, I used to get Glossy Box. I canceled them um, for a number of reasons. They were um, running out of stock, delaying shipments for up to two weeks, and then switching products out because they were overselling their box. So then they were scrambling to get more supplies to make more boxes. And here I am as a subscriber, not even a new subscriber, and I'm getting like my box delayed and I'm getting the products that I was promised aren't coming. They're sending me other products. So I got rid of that one. Y'all know I got rid of at the end of 2020. I, I canceled my Allure. Their price went up. I hated what I was getting. Um, and I used to love that box, but they changed their box around and then cranked their price up. Ipsy did increase their prices, you guys, for the plus and the, the base bag, I believe. So that was a factor in why I went ahead and kept Boxy and got rid of Ipsy. Uh, Ipsy is going up to $28. Boxy currently is staying at $25. We'll see how long that lasts. They aren't owned by the same company. Ipsy owns Boxy Charm. So we'll see. Um, so yeah, I've gone through and, and canceled out a lot of subscriptions I used to get, but I'm getting newer subscriptions now too. I'm kind of changing things around. I did get rid of Glow Addict. I tried it. Uh, didn't really like it. And then I did try Chic Beauty and it didn't really wow me, so I canceled that too. I'm not getting that. So we'll see, you guys. You know, I like trying new things. That's kind of the fun of it, right? So um, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, that was what I wanted to let you guys know. I wanted to make sure that you saw that in case you had not seen that. I did get rid of Ipsy. I didn't get a, ba a bag in um, September. I originally was going to pause it and not get it in September and then get it in October, but I decided to just cancel it. So no more Ipsy for a little while here. We'll see. We'll see. I might go back at some point, but... All right, guys, let me know what you think of this box down below and, and let me know what you think of what I just explained to you guys. Um, if you've got any other new subscriptions that you, you know, would suggest, I used to get FabFitFun. You guys, it's too much just weird garbage. I, I can't do it. <laughs> uh, that said, I did try a new lifestyle box. Um, you know, I did, did, I did subscribe for an entire year to Single Swag, um, which is kind of a lifestyle subscription box. So we'll see how that goes. I just, I got a good deal on, on the subscription and, and went ahead and went for it. Um, we'll see. <laughs> All right, guys, before we go, I'd like to remind you that if you are feeling a little bit dark, uh, a little anxious, um, a little unhappy or a lot unhappy, a lot dark, a lot anxious, and you are considering something that I and others, your friends and family would be extremely sad to hear or to experience, please, please, before you do anything, please talk to somebody. Um, you know, you are the only one of you on this planet, okay? There's nobody, nobody on this earth that is just like you. You're very special and unique and don't ever forget it. But if you are really feeling something, uh, and considering doing something, please talk to somebody, let them try to help you. Okay. Um, if, even if they can't personally help you, they can try to help find whatever resources you might need to get you through what you're feeling. Okay. And if you don't want to talk to somebody, you know, these people are available in the U S 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And like I said, they, um, you know, might not be able to directly help you. They will help find resources for you to help get you through um, whatever you're going through. Okay. And judgment free. All right. They're judgment free zone. So, but please give somebody a chance to help you. Okay. Um, don't, don't forget how unique and special you are. You're one of a kind. There's nobody on this planet like you and the world is a better place with you in it. Don't ever forget that. Okay. 
All right, guys, I really appreciate you watching this. Before you go, please give this a thumbs up. Uh, it does help this video and my channel. I am this close to 2,000 subscribers. Once I actually pass that 2,000 and YouTube doesn't take a whole bunch of you know stuff away from me and drop me back under it, I am going to do a thank you giveaway. It'll be a fun one. Um, kind of formulating what I'm going to give away in my head. I do believe I'm going to have a couple of winners, so that'll be fun. So stay tuned, and if you can, please like, subscribe, and um, share my channel with friends. Anybody you think might enjoy this, I really would appreciate it so much. So. Have a great one, guys. I will see you on my next video. Bye, everybody.